guess what, guys? We're on our way to Bowie's Creek from Raleigh. Today is March 13th, 2019. Braids and I are on our way to Campbell University for the first time visiting this place ever since we were married. Um, Braids has had the, uh, the good graces of being able to visit every single university I have ever attended, <laughs> and then some, and high, high school. school. Yeah but I have never actually been to her university and it's only 45 minutes away. It's pretty pathetic. Asterisk, except for one time we went to a concert, but we weren't even dating right then, so that wasn't counting. And he only saw the Convocation Center, which wasn't even built when I was there, so it's not the same. It's also cool to be driving around my old stomping grounds. This is where I lived for seven years in this Willow Spring Andrew area. We're gonna see her professors, quite a few of them. And if you know anything about my wife, you know that she plans things down to a T if she can, and she can, so we, she has. <laughs> yes. I love seeing her smile. Aww. Smile, Braids. I am smiling. <laughs> smile bigger. Ah! <laughs> So we're here on uh, Campbell University campus, and uh, it, oddly enough, is exactly the same as when Braids remembers that's, it 10 years ago. It's a lie. It's a, it's a bald face lie. Everything's <laughs> different. Everything. So she's going through a little bit of culture shock right now. Uh, what's the biggest differences you're noticing, Braids? Um, half of the buildings that are here now were not here when I was here. <laughs> is it easy to get lost? Yes. It's easy to get lost. There's a lot of construction going on right now. library which was so moldy inside <coughs> excuse me that the students with asthma uh, just couldn't go inside the library it, it smelled pretty bad in there um, now I think it's been remodeled and I'm not actually sure what it is no longer the library the library is now in the what used to be the law school that pecan tree over there that's where I got reacquainted with uh, Matthew he was gathering, he and Faith were gathering pecans underneath that tree and we ended up, I was like, what are you guys doing? And so he was like, yeah, it's pecans! <laughs> it was really cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was it. Sorry, right where that lamppost was over there, it was where the, we call it the elm tree, I think it was actually a beech tree, but they look very similar in terms of the lamp. And we used to climb that and just hang out up there. And I think the most people we had up there was 13. You can get a lot of people up in that 13. tree. 13? Yeah. And now we're headed over. So this is Day Hall, which used to have a massive bat problem, and you'd see them come out of the chimney every night at dusk. Um, probably they don't have that anymore, I imagine. Oh, the old fountain. And now we're heading to Marsh Banks, which is uh, the cafeteria. And I've, I've climbed on that roof, although it looks like they've re-roofed it since then. Uh, it's really cool to be back, although it looks really weird. 
That's all. So much so that Marsh Banks Cafeteria has a classroom or two that meet inside of it right now so students can still have class. And behind us, there's a even larger student center, right? Yep. So there used to be a giant tree over here, and we called it uh, the Tree of the Squirrel King because there was a big squirrel that lived in it and was very, very bold. And you could walk pretty much right up to it and he'd be like, didn't care. Sounds almost... Uh, Nutcracker ballet -esque. A little bit. So then straight ahead, that is on the front, the first story is Rumley Center, but beyond it is Powell Dorm. And that's where I lived with Sarah. So we would, you could go, you would leave by the side, those, those black stairs on the side of the building. We would go out from the top story. And that's how we would get to where we were going. Those same paintings were on the wall when I was here, probably a long time before that. Um, so this is the Rumley Center, which is the the publicish part of the of it. I seem to recall that Sarah, Luke, Braids, and others made a video, probably Luke Morales directed. Hey, I know you don't know me, but hey. Um, I was just wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. Um, well, hey, what are you doing here? Oh, just fixing the flags if they keep getting caught. Yeah, well, that's, that's interesting. Um, hi, by the way. Hi. Of, uh, of one of their number just basically butchering or murdering everybody in that video. And this looks an awful lot like that scene. Yeah, hi. I thought so. So this was my dorm. The third story on the all the way over to the end. That was my and Sarah, Sarah's room. But when people wanted to come hang out, they would throw pebbles at our window, except one time Matthew threw a pebble that was a little too large and a little too hard, and he broke our window. And I came back to a broken window and a rock in the middle of the floor. And no Mateo. <laughs> and no Mateo. <laughs> this is Powell, Powell Hall, right? This is Powell. Mm -hmm. And you stayed here for the first year? The last three years. Uh, before that, it was? Strickland, which we're going to walk by real fast right now. OK. It was astounding to hear exactly how many structures Braids had climbed on this campus during her four years here. This is the back side of Carrie Ridge, and I've, I've been up on that roof. School of Engineering now, but on top of that dome, we were not the first to climb it because there was a sticky note with a, a smiley face or a Mickey Mouse, I can't remember now, on the top. Someone else put it there. Over in this corner, there used to be a giant magnolia tree that was as tall as the science building, and you could climb it all the way up to the very, very top, which I did. So, oh, you can see how I got in the roof of Marsh Banks. There's still a ladder. So, right over there, do you see a little ladder on the side of that building? It's black. Yep. Um, it doesn't quite go all the way to the ground, but it goes enough to the ground that you can catch it and climb up there. And that's how I did it. That's how she did it. Okay, so right there through the woods, there was a nature trail, which maybe I could still find if I walked down there, but um, it led to the ROTC tower, which had been condemned when we were here, but you could still climb it. You know the barn where I got caught? Yes. Trespassing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little, little tour. So this is the back of Strickland. Uh, yeah, so the second, the building just beyond it, you see how it's got a ledge when yep. you're on the second story? I climbed out the second story window and jumped off the ledge and I realized that was a cool way to get out of the... Of you're just <laughs> trying to fire escapes, I get it. Now, uh, this big field, beyond that field, 
to the right is where we would, we would climb out there and that was where the barn was where we got in trouble. Okay, so you see that, that big boxy part of that building right there? That's the fine arts building. The big boxy part is the theater. And that's the roof that I was on top of. But that's like but 60 I, feet. I climbed from the inside. You climbed the, the lighting rigging from the inside. Did you hear this, mom-in-law? No, no, nobody heard that. Shh, shh. 